All right, coming up next, a welterweight tilt between Conor McGregor and Nate Diaz. All right, get out your 209 tattoos, folks. Here he is, the one, the only Nate Diaz making the walk yet again. It's been a long time, but Nate Diaz is back tonight. He has put in all the right work. You know, few guys in this division work harder than Nate Diaz. It's good to see him back in the UFC. And you notice it, John, right? The cardio. The cardio is one thing that stands out about Nate Diaz. He looks like he's just touching guys with all of his strikes, but the buildup from all the, the activity that he puts out usually will make his opponents wilt. And once he gets him to the ground, he's a jujitsu black belt that can finish the fight with a number of submissions. Yeah, he'll hit you with the open hand, too. He'll invoke that Stockton slap. You think we see that Stockton tonight? Stockton slap, but it's just so disrespectful. What I love watching is so Nate Diaz. Got to get you a Lafayette slap or something. <laughs> Good to see Nate Diaz back here tonight, one of the biggest fan bases in the world, and they are all watching the pride of Stockton, California here tonight. Well, DC, you're not fighting tonight, but I know you're anxious as I am as Conor McGregor returns to the proven ground here tonight. This is the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history and a damn good fighter, too. Let's see what he does here tonight. I have no horse in the race, but the butterflies are kicking my stomach up and down because every time Conor steps into the octagon, it feels like a momentous occasion. Yeah. One of the biggest stars in all of sports, he transcends the sport of mixed martial arts, a guy that has a fantastic left hand. He's very quick. He's a master of, ma of managing distance, managing space, and the speed and the ability, the eyes of Conor McGregor is something that we don't pay enough attention to when we watch him fight. And of course, every time he competes, all eyes are on Conor McGregor, and yet more often than not, he doesn't show up flat on fight night. He rises to the occasion. The Jose Aldo fight certainly mm -hmm. is the one that people will historically talk about, but let's see how it goes in this spot for Conor here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Diaz is three years his senior. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. All right, now with the official introductions, we go inside the octagon of Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. It's easy first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 22 wins, 13 losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Stockton, California. Ladies and gentlemen, he is an ultimate fighter season winner, Nate Diaz! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 22 wins, 6 losses. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor McGregor. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. Here we go, round one, Nate Diaz versus Conor McGregor. This is about as big a fight as we can put together. I mean, we have seen this on more than one occasion, and I gotta be honest, I am still as excited as the first time they set foot on the dais for a press conference. 
This is a big fight. It will always be a big fight. I can't wait to get started. Perhaps we get a little bit of a feeling out process here early. We no, these boys hate each other. They just want to fight. Try to establish that jab. Shot is blocked there by Connor. Right hand punch to the clinch. Hook to the head there by McGregor. Watch knees to the body. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by McGregor. Strike by McGregor. I mean, Conor McGregor is a fantastic striker, and once again, that skill is on display. Oh, nice jab. Effective punch there by McGregor. Nice one, two there. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. So just over 20 total strikes have found the mark for Conor McGregor. Oh, that's a seminal blow right there, DC. He's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Oh, he might be out. Ninety seconds to go. Nice stupid punch. What a tricky head kick. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, he hurt him. Nice combination there by Diaz. Both of these gentlemen are putting it on the line. He plans a glancing right hand upstairs. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Back and forth we go here. All right. Oh, over the top. This fight's going to be over this. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent. Thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very bad. Entertaining shot so far. There's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what you, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. All right, here we go with our second round now. Conor McGregor versus Nate Diaz. Diaz gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Over and over, he landed a big body kick. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Beautiful land there by McGregor. Made it look easy on that exchange. He is such a diverse striker, but he's very tricky in the approach when he's trying to land that left hand. So we pull up the numbers here. 45 total strikes have landed for Conor McGregor. Exactly. Well, still connecting on about four of every 10 attempts. 40% the accuracy right now against Nate Diaz. Now connects with the right. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Notice the drive. Look at how they drive the knee right into the midsection. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. What a punch. Nice leg kick land.
uppercut like that. It was over in versus in Johnny. And you know he still has a problem out of the over head. Well, no surprises. He connects once again, and that looked like it landed right on that. Right on the cut. And he's targeting it, right? He's looking. You can see him almost putting a laser beat on that cut and just putting his hands on it. It doesn't take much. Oh. He didn't like that left hand. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. He's in trouble. He's getting lit up. Oh! Oh, straight right. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give it Oh, well, the ground and pound strikes Oh, misses with the jab. Look at how he turns his hips into that leg kick. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round. He is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. All right, hey, hey, come on in, come on in. Great finish to that round. Give him some water, give him some water. Listen. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Oh, nice kick. Oh! He's hurt. He's hurt bad. Both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. McGregor gets up and somewhat surprisingly, despite having a dominant position on the ground, he wants to take this fight back to the feet. Just misses there with the left. Working off his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Oh, McGregor's has got full mount now. Diaz is lower John now starting to show signs of swelling. trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now, he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head, or he's going to get blasted. McGregor's right back to the full mount here. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's... Whoa! And really starting to make these shots count. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. An attack in armbar. Oh, he picks him up and slams him down. An explosive slam to lift him and slam him out of that armbar. Go right into side control. Now let's see what he does, right? Sometimes when you do that, the choke or the yes. submission can get tighter, but he was able to evade it there. Yes. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over! Oh, wow! That was nasty! <laughs> you knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight.
And there he is, all smiles. What a huge knockout he turned in here tonight. That is one they'll be talking about for some time.